Well, what you see there is uh, John Mackerel, or uh, John Haddock, or something, uh, something fishy about this guy. I believe he's a Pisces. We will be working on this truck later, but that's not the point of today, obviously, from the title. We're going to uh, hopefully do some powder coating today. So let's get him in here, and we'll explain what's going on. Maybe he's changed his mind on a couple of things. We'll see what happens. So this means we have to contact Sean. Oh, he's going to park down there. Okay, that's a good spot, because that's where the uh, Spitfire is. And uh, so I'm not going to be taking the Spitfire out today. Okay, let's let him get up here and talk to me. Everything back together, you know. Okay, we're talking about things that we're going to do here. And this is an old off Odyssey video where we did the hubs and everything. And we did the rim somehow. I guess I shoved them in there sideways. But today we're going to we're going to do the. We might be sandblasting the hubs a little bit. They've been sitting in the solution for about ten days. But we're going to get those clean. We're going to do the hubs. We're going to chrome them. And then we're going to... Then you want to put black over them? No, we're just going to put the yellow on the, the hubs. The yellow on the hubs. And, and then, then the, if we want to powder coat the foot pegs and the triple clamps, we can do that black. Okay. But we don't need to do we'll anything get, on that. We'll, we'll get everything laid out in the middle of the floor and get a plan. Because once, you, once you've got the powder in your gun, you want to just keep shooting that color until you're through. Yeah. So we'll, we'll get it all laid out here in a minute. But I can't believe we found uh, this. From May of 14th, 2018. <clears throat> okay, we're down here now. And we got the uh, sandbox, <laughs> the sandblaster ready to go. And I got the uh, swirly thing and the big AccuVac. And we're going to pull these hubs out of here. Well, John's going to pull, John's going to be doing everything today. So. No, you can just pull the baskets on the sides. Oh, sorry. And then you set it right down there. Yeah. And then you can just see what's in the bottom because there's something in the bottom. Oh, you got your, you got your sprocket. I said sprocket, not socket. Consorn. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's all right. That'll be. See a little bit of sandblasting on that. And I bet that's pretty. We'll dry that off and do a little sandblasting. If it's not, look at the paint coming off my, on my hands. Yeah, I guarantee there you go. Same plastic. We're going to just right wipe off. them off. Okay. Dude, most of it did come off. Okay. okay, well, that was a good idea then. Look. Well, let's just, uh, let me I turn the. We should just wipe them down first. I got the water heater on. And, uh. Can I, um, have a set of gloves? Uh, yeah, let me get you some fresh gloves. Hang on. We have sort of a problem of these. Holes being kind of got gum in them or something. And as we were just discussing, I have a drill bit that is just a little smaller than that. And we're going to go real slow on speed one. And we're just going to kind of knock out the, 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 the JB weld or whatever it is. Okay. Oh, this is your other stuff. Put that, put that over there somewhere. And here, put these over there too. Just keep everything together. Put it on top here? Yeah, that's that's fine, yeah. It's not going to get so hot, it's going to hurt it. Okay, so we're going to have to just ream those out a little bit. Hmm. Now, if I had to guess, I would say that was old JB Weld. It's just loaded with it. And, I uh, hope that is not the case, because that may mean I... <sighs> Yeah, I don't know. Like that makes no sense. Well, we're gonna we're gonna blast these and and try to blast through these holes. Now this is an alloy, so you got to be a little mindful with your with your air pressures and everything. I don't think I got a regulator over there. Let me see if I do. No, I'll have one in a minute. Ow. We've. What's that look like oh, now? It's down in here. That looks horrible. Yeah, we'll get them. That's got to be all that. Grease or something. Well, this foot peg here is kind of bent. I just kind of want to make a record of it, and then we're gonna uh, give those things. I'll let I'll let you determine how much you want to put on that. But I'm gonna I'm gonna bend this back with some vice grips.
Oh boy, triple 19. Got it pretty daggum good. Yeah, this is his first time doing this. I just take so my time. We'll, that's what we'll all. Do is I didn't we'll, take my hand off. That's good. That's right. We'll we'll uh, don't worry about that little stuff. Okay. If my my experience was, if it's kind of hard to get off, then don't worry about it too okay. much. But we'll get a razor blade and go around this periphery where you said there's some kind of gasket material we could do. I brought all the stuff that I bought off that guy online. That mm -hmm. will fit this. Yeah. We could try it if you wanted to. We don't have to. I think we should lay a thing of chrome on it and just see how and it just sticks. Go, yeah, let's just or let's do it on the sprocket. The sprocket's a hundred bucks. If I need to replace it, which I might what, do. Anyways. What did you want to do now? Let's spray the sprocket first and see how that turns out. Because everything else should lay similarly, right? Yeah. Oh, it's gonna it's it's gonna be fine. We're gonna we're gonna uh, preheat it and everything. All right. Well, so let me do one more. Put that put that right here because we're gonna ultrasonic it. Oh, I'll and get all the sand it. out of it. Okay. Um, okay. I moved that little stick around. Good. And then I, I got to move the sand a little bit. But I've kind of figured it out. It's kind of fun. It's other not, other okay. in your back. Yeah, I, yeah you're. <laughs> I'm you, a little you tall. You need that thing up a little higher. Hey, it's okay. John's a a tall drink of water. Hey, whatever. Stretch. <laughs> Okay, so we've uh, sandblasted and got a razor and dug in and tried to clean all we could. So there's residual sand here, so we're going to hit the ultrasonic. What color do you, you want the sprocket? Black. And you want the two, the two hubs yellow with chrome on them. What color do you want these two things? Black. Black. So we, only got, we need to do chrome first. We can do chrome over, over everything if you wanted to, but no, I don't really see a reason. No reason. Um, okay, so we can't. We don't have enough uh, little plug things to, to uh, do all of these at the same time. Do you want to just start oh, with this because it should be probably easier? So you can go ahead and uh Yeah, so we're gonna do chrome first and get that out of the way. And then uh let's get my chrome, because the same chrome you got. And then I need a I need a one of them. Okay. Okay, John said it best, it ain't the powder coating, it's the prep. So you gotta get all these things done. We're gonna get some foil and put in these holes here. But you do this and then you get a razor and cut around, I'll show you in a minute, to keep the powder coat out of the inside of there. And we're gonna preheat them, but uh, not... What are we preheating to, Mr. We're Brown? gonna, we're not gonna go the full Monty. We're gonna go to like 320. Okay. Uh, and, we, and only for like five minutes or so just to get the oils kind of burned off. Now let me ask you this question too. Do we need to worry about what's on this flange here? Do I need to tape that? No. No. So everything, as long as we tape our holes, we'll be fine. Okay. Because th think about it. That's. A, a, I don't mean to say it this way, but this can all be seen. Some of it will be seen. Oh, okay, so okay, we'll, okay. So as much of this we can keep off, you know, that ring there. And then just as long as we keep as much powder coating out of the holes. But even if a little gets down in there, just we can scrape it off. Yeah, you know, do whatever, get it, scrape it off or something. Okay. All right, so the, it's all in the prep. Ruffles have ridges, you know. All right, so here we go with this food dog. Guys. It's just the hard part. It's the bad thing about cutting grass out in the country. A couple of days later, you got all them dandelions. I'm a dandelion.
Look at that TR4, ain't that pretty? I don't get to see her out in the, out in the wild very often. It's a TR4 in its natural environment. <laughs> you know, I'm filming, I'm okay. it up. So, just grit your teeth and, and get going. One down, 40 to go. Oh, yeah. oh you gotta go thicker than that. Well, no, maybe not. It's up to you. You just gotta figure out what you're gonna do here. So, just put off the thing and, and get it going. Okay, I guess it's been 30 minutes. So we got all these things uh, thumped and plugged here. And, uh, well, there that went. Well, it's okay. <laughs> Working out good so far. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so, all right, we're gonna put these in and heat them up, dry them out, and then we're gonna shoot them. And I'm doing uh, doing prep on these. What time is it? Four o'clock. Four o'clock, wow. I know it's, it's getting close to that time. Yeah, it is. <laughs> you know what time it is. Oh, come on. I made that one a little bit too. Okay. A little bit too that. Okay, well that'll, that'll be fine. Okay. Let's let that heat up for 10 minutes or All so. Alright, so it's 4.05. So you can do it right here. Timer set. Okay, don't get antsy. You think I'm getting excited or something? I don't know. I gotta look. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Okay, so chrome and then yellow. What can I do? I don't know. Keep telling me chrome and then yellow. Chrome, yellow, black. <laughs> chrome, yellow, black. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. I'm gonna do this one first. A little too much there. Okay. So now, go here. And then, you can leave that there if you want to. I don't want to. I think what we're going to do is just put it right there for now. And that'll be your 10,000 volts. Don't need that right now. Okay. I guess this is going to be the best way for it. Okay, so here we go. Now it won't come out looking real crummy to begin with. I told you about this song a little bit ago, this was an orange container. Okay, other side. Like that ought to do it. It's, yeah. Okay, this is his first time. Whoa, that's heavy. Sorry, I barely touched it. <laughs> yeah, I know. Now try to get inside the, the other part there. There you go. Kind of like that? Yeah. Barely touch it. It's a little heavy. That's okay. You can be a little heavy on it. Okay, now turn it around and get the inside of the other hub and the underneath side. Just, so, just turn it around. I didn't know if it was hot or not. The wire cools off real quick. Okay. You clear get inside prop. that hub. Clear prop. Okay, well that's his first thing he's ever powder coated. Don't laugh at me. That's probably enough. Okay. Okay. Look, that's us. Okay, now you got 25 minutes. They're in there. See? And, uh, Take it up to three, whatever it costs for on the box, you know, and do it whatever time. So we're gonna we're gonna change over to yellow now, and uh, we're not gonna do any more chrome, right? Okay, okay. I had to close this door because it got a little too windy. So in that time, you can empty out your chrome, 
clean your vessel and then load it up with the yellow and we're going to I think it'll be easy for you to do yellow because you'll see it going on now what this is basically going to be is hot coating because it's going to be so hot yeah and it probably will turn color right then okay and, and then right here right then yeah and it'll but uh we're not going to open this up till till it says we can and we all see a real nice chrome in there but that's just the base coat so uh this ought, this ought to be good so so it's easier to do when you can actually when when stuff goes on flat it's kind of hard to tell until it's yeah. fully baked on. Yeah, okay. and, but this is, you know, and I, I wouldn't go more. I wouldn't go more than two coats on anything, uh, you, unless you do a real light primer. So that would be my general suggestion, because it, it's got to bake into the pores. And so I and think. I, the, I think what we did with the same box was just fine. We didn't do that on the last ones because we didn't have to take anything off. We right. just did ultrasonic. I don't even know if you had the ultrasonic. Anymore. 2018. Yeah, I might um, I might have had that smaller one that blew up. I had one that blew up on me. But um, we had them clean from what it looked like in the YouTube video just down to flat. So yeah. it, how we had it going in was just fine. Who knows? I gotta, I gotta take a I know, do it. Well, it's getting there. See, it's getting crummy. Okay. It's like, uh, it's like how long we got? We got? Five we minutes. Got five minutes. Okay. So I'm going to say this so he'll just remember it. But we were talking about... Uh, other things ladies of ladies. the evening oh no that's, that's, okay well okay. and i said well you know what's worth living with somebody or just paying for it and i said well you got to look at the over and under <laughs> okay <laughs> okay okay cease <laughs> okay back to reality so this this coat has to really be baked in good look at that see that looks pretty good for an undercoat See, look how chromey that is. It, it it looks a little little chalky. I kind of like it. The next coat will be will smooth it out some. There you go. Get a thumbs up. So four I, minutes. It's at the point now where it's going on. We're, we're going like, in. We're going in. <laughs> no matter how it looks, we're going That's in. That's right. I used to love to say that when I worked to, as a mechanic. Well, the window's not going up. Well, what do you got to do? So we got to take the door panel off. You do? Yeah. Well. How else do you get to the window? We're going in! <laughs> but there's no other choice unless you want to ride around with your window down all the time. So it's up to you. Okay, so we're going to show uh, you shooting the yellow. Right, well, let's get set up for that. You get, your, get your stuff. Here, let me, let me fix some things. These, these are some mighty old 3Ms and uh, little duct tape, Gorilla tape, fix it right up. Yeah. <laughs> And get a little lightheaded, put some isopropyl alcohol yeah. in there. There you go. Well, I, had, I told him to get some of what two weeks ago, yeah, well, and some, he didn't do it. So now you got to breathe through my stuff, but I cleaned it out real good. All right. All right, hit the button, hit it while it's hot. All right, and now you okay. Here, right. I'll get it for you. I'm sorry. Do the, the lobo there. The I'm, gonna, I'm gonna work my way kind of up. Okay, all right, stop turning. Sorry. Oh, you want you want it turning around? The wind is just perfect, clearing it right out of the barn. A little heavier now. Is that pretty good? Yeah, it sure is taking it. Uh. There you go. You're getting enough on there to soak it into the chrome. Put that button good down there, good. Yeah, look at that. I think that's looking pretty nice. See, you're getting the hang of it. See, I don't want to. Okay. I don't know why this stuff is starting to stay black. Do you want to can you turn it for me? Let, let me have that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry, you're going to hit it. Okay. Don't let anybody else hold that one. <laughs> 
Yeah. I got hit one time with 10,000 hertz. Now you may have a little Faraday nest there, but I don't, you really shouldn't as hot as it is. Come, come hit right there, see, see those. There you go. It's going to coat it till it all there down. I think, I think you can't do much more than that right now. I don't really want to do more. You can't hear me, but. Okay, you're not going to get anywhere fighting it like okay. that. Okay. Um, what about okay. like. Yeah, go over there. You're not going to, it's not going to hurt you. Um, go ahead. You okay? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. You got to decide if you like. That's probably enough. Okay, I, I would now. You can grab. Okay, we're gonna bring the other one out. Very much. Not very much. I do sometimes. Let's see. So we got we got the first coat of yellow. We're gonna let them cool off. That ain't bad looking. That evened up pretty good. Yeah, it did. Do you want to go another coat or not? We can do real light because I know there are some spots that I, may, I, I we may not be able to see it kind of in the middle. Okay. Um, we'll go real light. Do you want to pull them out and let just, them cool or do you want to do it? We're just going to let them sit there and cool. Okay. 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 That's pretty good. That looks great. Yeah. You, you, you're not going to get a hundred percent here, so. Now the trick now is going to be get this tape off here in a minute. I'm going to hang out the, this stuff and make these black here. Heat, preheat, and then powder coat. We've got two more runs. Now, if you got anything taped, you want to pull it off within about a minute or two of pulling it out of the oven. Or you'll be fighting that for a long time. But see, if you take it off warm, it comes off like that. All right. All right then. All right then. You can dress that up with a razor or something later on if you want to. Like new. <laughs> that's an easy piece there. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say that's pretty easy. Like new. Just it just must have ended. Okay, Inda. That's German for shut up. So there we go. Look look at how sparkly. Whoa. One one to go. One to go. Oh, we gotta start this up. Let's see if I can get a copyright claim. Did you show them the hopes, Mr. Bubba? No, I will in a minute. We're gonna, we're gonna do it all together. Hmm. Okay. Oh, gotta love this. All the An hour or something. Since when? I don't. I don't know. All right. Well, here we go. The only only place in the whole building where there's a window. <laughs> And the sun's, sun's hitting us right in the eyes. <laughs> okay, so pull these out while it's hot. Green Bomb. Always makes me think of Big Sam Norman. This song. He's the one that taught me into going to camp. He didn't say it was a Bible camp. I didn't find that out until I got there. I don't mind it being a Bible camp, but I just... I hate when people who tell you about Bible camps lie to you. <laughs> At least tell you. I know. You know, let's, let's you know, let's try to hold up the, hold up the. Uh, it's like going to a truth, scouting you know? event. Like at least tell me I'm going to a Boy Scout event to prepare myself. Got to do it when it's hot. Get up. Get them off. <laughs> But Big Sam, he was very religious, and he uh, 
He was a hell of a engineer. I remember my dad didn't have much of a budget at the radio station, and so Sam, in his protest, he had to hook up some new microphones in the control room. So he went and got some three-quarter inch plumbing pipe. <laughs> <laughs> True story. And said, okay, smarty. Why <laughs> PVC plumbing pipe? Oh, so when you my, when you went in the dad station, there, there was plumbing holding the microphones. <laughs> and my dad funny. said, okay, all right, all right, all right. So okay. <laughs> don't have much in there. You'll be able no, to clean I'll that. I'll be out. able to get that out. That ain't no big deal. Okay, so one more piece. <laughs> And he painted it some kind of like horrible. My dad liked green, and so I think Sam f found something that looked like pea soup. Pea soup. <laughs> it was awful. Okay, so that's in there. Uh, we'll just leave it at that temperature. Okay, this is the last part. Gonna go around. How low can you go? Are you gonna? Oh, you gonna get brave? Yeah, that's better. Than, oh, yeah, you got a little bit, a couple of bear spots there. We'll get them. I like that. Kind of like an oven held together with duct tape. Oh. All, right. All right. Like I said earlier, there that is. So we're just gonna let that kind of sit there. <laughs> Guess I need more duct tape. All right, our final take here. How do you want to present this? This is. I figured a, that would be the best way, and you just show everybody. Okay, so I got the tape off while it was hot, and then there's that going for you there. All right, show us the uh, sprocket on the hub, so you can see how it gives a little contrast here. Look at that. Something like that. Man, that. I believe the word is that pops. Say black and yellow. Okay. So and then there's yeah. that hub. We had to drill it out one more time to get the uh, foil out of them. And then there are the foot pegs. That just feels so good, doesn't it? I mean, everything feels so good when it's clean and powder coated and all. And uh, it turned out really good. I'm happy. So there, everything's good. So everything's cool except for this really hot stalk right here. But uh, it's okay. I mean. And uh, the trick is, uh, if you find a bad spot, try to get the closest you can with uh, nail polish. And uh, I generally don't use black nail polish except on my toenails. <laughs> so anyway, uh, no comment. All right. So, uh, but this is what I use on the barber chair because I did some powder coating there. That yellow is uh, just paint. Oh, is it? You can get, you can go, you can go to the drugstore and and match something up pretty good. Just you know, be fine. So anyway, that's it. Well, that's get it. a thumbs up for today. Thumbs up, subscribe, okay. like the video. So what do we got in this? Six hours from today. Yeah. I mean, just you know, just our work today. Yeah. So all right. Well, that's uh. That's what it takes, and it's probably what seven percent of it is powder coating. Yeah. So you last you, maybe. Yeah. So just keep that in mind. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't take any wooden mice and whatever else. Just don't don't break anything while I'm gone. <laughs>